Hi everyone and welcome to The Wrap Studios. I'm Stuart Braswell here with Deech and Lackman. We'll do a kind of a spoil alert that, guys, this is for if you have seen some of the show. What do you think about the comparisons to Blade Runner? I mean, definitely the way that it's shot, kind of the scenes in these cars, and I think that's a, a good comparison. At its core, Altered Carbon is a love story, a friendship, a story of betrayal. And then you add in the fact that people can live forever and that makes things really interesting and asks a lot of philosophical questions right. but silly ones too like what can you m imagine being married to the same person for 300 years sometimes i think about that and I, you know i wonder and then if that person is changing bodies like what does that mean there's also a lot of social issues you know income inequality um, what happens when only a very very small fraction of the world has all the wealth. The women in this story are really driving it forward. They they are moving moving the needles. And violence against women is a real thing. You know, most women who are murdered, the vast majority are murdered by their husbands, their lovers, their boyfriends in sex crimes. You know, that is that is the most. So I think sometimes we do have to feel uncomfortable and we have to, to look at it where it's happening in a safe place where there are actors who are trained and there are stunt people there to help that um, happen in a safe place so that the viewer can, can confront it and it might push them into action because it could be happening next door or upstairs or downstairs or in your family and you don't know. That scene, what was that like filming for you? The fighting, I mean, you're popping out of yeah. That must have, how long did it take to film that fight sequence? It took a long time and um, the reason is because there were, there were so many um, logistical things that had to be dealt with. We had nine girls that were um, dressed to look like, well, not undressed to look like me, body paint, wigs. Right. You know, we all had to look very similar. It was physically challenging for me because I was completely naked. I didn't have any protection. The, the glass was made out of silicon and every time someone stepped on it and there's a hundred crew in there, it would turn into sand. So you're sliding and slipping and there's blood and it's sticking everywhere and you're absolutely naked. All you have is this tiny little wig for your <laughs> downstairs. That was something that there were a lot of conversations about. How do we make that and design it so that m me and Orfe could do the sword fight? completely naked. By the end of it, I felt like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. And this feeling of if I did that, I can do anything because initially it was, it was terrifying yeah. like to, to do a sword fight naked when you've not proficient in the sword and you've never been naked in front of hundreds of people. It's kind of a know, it's daunting. Yeah. yeah, but the character got me through it. Do you have any thoughts on season two? I have no idea. Yeah. I, I, I mean, There's I so hope. many ways it could. Exactly. So, um, you know, fingers crossed that, that, it, that you know, they, they do another season. And um, I'm just really glad to have been a part of it.